Hi there everyone and welcome to our show. This is a show about the community where we bring on incredible people that are doing incredibly creative, talented things. And today we've got Kim Dean and her business is Renew. So Kim, it's really lovely to have you here today. It's lovely to be here, thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming. Would you like to tell us a little bit about your business? What is Renew? Renew. Well, Renew in a, in a nutshell is um, all about getting into your wardrobes and igniting your imagination again for what you've already got in your wardrobe. My whole ethos is eco-friendly and cash savvy and it's about getting in there and reinventing what you've got. Instead of going out to the high street first, look inside your wardrobe, shop in your wardrobe, rethink your wardrobe. So my whole model is before you buy new, consider renew. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of when you take a show and you produce it and you create the set yes. and you bring the actors on and everything. There's bare bones That's and right. then you, you come on and you put all these beautiful new ways and new, new things up. onto it. Exactly. Yeah. That's amazing. So yeah. were you always like this as a child? Were you always creative? Did, did you always do things like that? So were you I like, think artistic? So. I always would watch, um, you know, what people were wearing. People watching was my favourite pastime, whether it be just sitting on a bench or whether it be watching a fantastic actor or actress on TV and how they would move in the clothes they had, especially in the old films. Fantastic. The, the outfits, the styles, the drama, everything that encapsulated them at that, in that time period, mm. like the 1920s, 30s, 40s, fantastic. So would you take your dolls and teddies and start dressing them up? And Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anything like that. Anything I could get my hands on where I could dress them up and make them beautiful. Oh, that's wonderful. So would you like to show us something? I mean, we've been sitting sure. here and we've been discussing things and you've brought some stuff with you. So do you want to, would you like to show us something sure. uh, and explain to us a little bit about what you do? I you know, brought a few Christmassy things way. and actually this one, if you can imagine, this used to be a dress, a 1950s dress. And my client decided a, it didn't fit her, and she wanted to do something a little more versatile with it. Oh. So together, mm -hmm. because it's a collaboration always, what we decided to do was to take the bottom from the top and to rework the top first and foremost. And because it didn't fit her any longer, we decided that we would open up the back and put this lovely golden eyes I call them and what in effect that does is it allows her to marry widow the back and wear it as loose or as tight mm. as she wants to That's very good. That's very and beautiful. with the bottom mm. we have the skirt that I didn't bring with me because it's quite simple but it's very 1950s and like very tight exactly <laughs> so she can wear the whole outfit together still or separately which makes it way more versatile, and of course it's going to fit her no matter what size she is going mm. forward. So that was one thing we did, and with some of the excess lace in the beading, we took this and decided to make a choker for her. Oh wow, that is so great. So it makes it quite stunning, and I, st I had some more lace. So I decided, okay, we'll do one extra little piece, and we did a nice little Downton Abbey. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Just like the 20s, exactly. the Zapparies. <laughs> exactly. So that's what Fabulous. we did with that. So wow. it was using everything she had, but mm -hmm. making it more versatile and utilizing it in a completely different way. So that was one thing I wanted to show you. The other Christmassy thing I wanted to show you was a simple black dress. Now, this is the back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And it's velvet and it's soft and it's lovely. It's very it's simple. Beautiful. <laughs> but we decided to try and do something stunning. So we just took a simple <gasps> embellishment wow. and I sewed that on for her. That so makes now, such a difference. It does. Now she has something very, very Christmassy. Beautiful. You know, and it's mm. it's just that little bit of drama 
You know, it's elegant, mm -hmm. it's classy, it's not over the top, but you can wear it anywhere. It's and it's, wonderful. It makes it quite a statement dress. And with that piece, I also got another piece. I just got these. You can buy these quite simply on eBay, actually. Right. So as long as you keep your eyes open and you can think outside the box a little bit, get creative, you can attach this to anything. You can attach it to the top of a blazer. You can attach it to the back of a blazer. You can even do what I did, which was to make it detachable as well. So creative. <laughs> And and it's a lot of fun. Us it's ladies, we love to be able to put things together. Yes, and to have, have a different, versatile, different things create different to do looks. Versatile. Yeah, and beautiful. all this is is stretchy. Mm. Is this sort of stretchy stuff you get from the haberdashery? Wow, that costs practically yeah. nothing. Practically nothing. <laughs> and this was actually retro. This is a retro mm. buckle. And I decided, okay, you can wear it like that. Mm. Quite nice. But you can also attach this. And make quite a statement. You can't see the hook and eye in this, but when it's on, can you imagine that? That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It makes quite a difference, it does. doesn't it? I mean, we've all got piece? we've all got black dresses yes. that we bought ages ago, and we usually take them out and wear them, and mm. you know, we're quite bored with them. But yes. in a way, what you're saying is, instead of going down and spending a fortune and reason. buying another dress, mm -hmm. take what you've got mm -hmm. and and create a new masterpiece, and and it really does fit in with what we're trying to do yes. here with um, uh, Moving On TV is to help the environment and to help people as well. People can't, all, you know, a lot of people can't afford to buy these That's things right. anymore. You so can still look very, amazing very, on a budget. That's my whole thing. Inventive, because creative. basically, so many people I know have a lot of stuff in their wardrobe and it's just hanging there, not really doing anyone any justice. And in order to get wear out of these things, again, you've got to think a little bit differently with what you already have. It's Absolutely. it's kind of a new take on make, do and mend, mm. I would say. Making a little more glam. Um, the other side I wanted to bring to you was just something very simple where you can take a simple pair of black velvet gloves. And say you have some old broken jewellery, all mm -hmm. right? For instance, I had a, a uh, bracelet. And I took it apart Amazing. and did this to it. Beautiful. Oh, it's so just beautiful. sewed that on. Very, very And it just, it's clever. effective. It makes mm. a little statement. Beautiful. And it's something it's very beautiful. bespoke and very individual. Yes. And, and that created piece. this beautiful bag as well. His yeah, it was just a simple satin. black satin bag. Mm. And all you have to do is add some feathers from a hair fascinator. Mm -hmm. And then you add a vintage brooch. You've got a handbag. Pin it all up. And you've got so an evening beautiful. handbag. And everything matches so everything beautifully. Matches. So it's like you don't have to go out there and find everything matching. No, you You've already got everything together. It's and beautiful. most people have this kind of stuff where they have a basic handbag, a basic black skirt, a basic black dress, or they have something, you know, that they, they just don't wear the way it is. Maybe it has memories attached to it and they just don't want to get rid of it, but it just hangs there. They don't wear it the way mm, it is. Mm. So that's where I come in. I try and reinvent what they have. It's amazing. So give us an idea of how, how does the process happen? Mm -hmm. well, say someone contacts you. Yes. Do you encourage them to make these changes or do you do it for them? Really, it, it's a collaboration. So if someone calls me and says, listen, you know, I've just got way too much stuff in my wardrobe. Can you please help me? There are several things I can do for them. Um, obviously, the first thing you have to do is to get to know them. So you sit down, have a, have a conversation, get to know their personality and their lifestyle and what works for them. Because it's not a one-size-fits-all type of a process. It's very individual and it's very bespoke. It's got to fit them. So after we've done that, that's when the fun begins. That's when we go into their wardrobes and I say to them, listen, okay, show me all the things you don't wear. So they're starting to pull everything out, put it on the bed. Why don't you wear this? This is what we can do with this to make it more versatile for you and your lifestyle. This is how we can really make it work for you. 
and from there if there's gaps in their in their wardrobe what I'd say to them is okay the other side of what I do is I do personal shopping but with more of a bargain hunting twist and more of an eco twist so the whole um, golden thread if you like through renew is is very much eco-friendly mm -hmm. um, I go into charity shops I go into vintage shops and I try and find the items that are missing in their in their wardrobe mm -hmm. so that we can inject some new life in there and they can have a complete well-rounded wardrobe and they can look and feel fabulous so the majority of what I do to answer your question is I would do a lot of it for them but again it's a collaboration mm -hmm. so if there's if they have ideas we try and work together to make it work so that they will once I walk away they actually will wear those items mm -hmm. that's lovely and there is also another part to your business that you mentioned to us, something yes. about a networking group. Yes. Where you're supporting. Exactly. What is that actually? Is that um, basically, when I started in business, which wasn't that long ago, I did find it hard to, to meet other like-minded people who were just starting out and were finding it tough to get known in their industry. So I would try and network with, with other people. And there's a lot of networks out there, and some of them are fantastic, and some of them not so much so. I wanted to create a network that allowed anyone, no matter how young or old they are, to realize their dreams and to feel confident hitting the ground running, and to do it in a way where it was a supportive atmosphere and where I could basically provide them with some connections, plug them in a little bit, get mm -hmm. them started, you know, so that they, they didn't feel like they were fighting an uphill battle. Sure. Um, so what do you call this network? Fabulous Women and Marvelous Fab Men. Fabulous Women and Marvelous Men. That yes. sounds brilliant. And um, where do you meet? Do you, do you have a meeting place? We do. meetings? Or, uh, we do. It's once a month and it's the third Monday of every month. Okay. And it's at the Beach Tree Pub and Restaurant All right. here in, yes. in High Wycombe. And Fabulous Women and, and Marvelous Men is not my creation, I have to say. It's something that is um, getting bigger throughout the southeast. Mm -hmm. It's something that was created by Lady... Um, well, she took it over, actually. Her name is Jane Hardy, and she is now the director. And she's fantastic, and she's been amazingly supportive. And she was looking for people to spearhead the group in different areas okay. all across the southeast. So if we just uh, recap on that, Fabulous Women and Marvelous Men is the name of this business network. And they meet on the third Monday of the month, is yes. that right? At the Beach Tree Pub is Amersham Road, I think. That's right. Yeah. Yes, in, in High Wycombe. And um, what time do they usually meet? 10 o'clock in the morning. 10 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. Is it like a breakfast? No, it wouldn't be a breakfast meeting. No, it's, it's, it's coffee, croissants. Okay. And is there any together. kind of joining fee or can anybody turn up? Anyone can turn it? up. It's mm -hmm. 15 pounds to come. Right. And from there, you get access to not only the local network that I have, but you also get access to the network through all the Southeast and right. and through all of the social media. Okay. That is that up the network. fifteen pounds each time for every meeting? Yes, it is. Each yes. meeting. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Fine. And and is all this on your website? Do you have a website? By I do way? have a website. Would you like to tell us your website? <laughs> <laughs> it's www.renewitall.co.uk. Wonderful. So thank you very, very much, Kim, Pleasure. for coming on today. And uh, I think it's a wonderful idea. As I say, it really does fit the new concept of the community, everything that you're doing, bringing people together and helping to, you know, to build business and to support businesses. And also, as I said, doing this is helping the environment. Yes. It's helping people to recycle. And it's, you know, to take stuff that uh, and renew them and make them beautiful again. And uh, it's very, very exciting. It's very, very original what you're doing. Thank you very much. So it's lovely. Thank you very much for coming on today. With pleasure. Take care. Thank you.